morning guys and welcome back i am just in the process of getting ready as i'm about to go and run a couple of errands and get coffee with my brother and his girlfriend so i'm just trying to decide what to wear so unfortunately here in melbourne we are currently going into lockdown again as of tomorrow so i feel like any errands and last minute things i want to do i sort of need to do them today as I want to try and be at home as much as possible. All right, so here is my outfit. I will show you a better angle in a minute. Um, I'm just going to decide on my shoes and get moving. This is the time. Okay, I've still got 10 minutes, it's all good. All right, I think I'm gonna wear my Gucci loafers. And I've recently been wearing them with black socks and they actually look completely fine. But because it's the middle of winter, I'm not about to wear shoes without socks because it's way too cold. And it actually looks fine with socks. So yeah, it's great. They're so versatile. So it is definitely going to be cold outside. So I've just popped this Iro Paris leather jacket on top. This piece is absolutely amazing. I actually wear it all the time. It's quite the investment, but I would say it's definitely worthwhile as it's quite a classic piece. And oh, who's messaging me? Nick. <laughs> um, it's quite a classic piece, and I just think it sort of goes with a lot of my outfits. So, yeah, I'm really happy that I have this piece. <laughs> Reverse park. I wish someone was here to see it besides you guys. Yeah. Espresso sunset. Is that the cool? Thank you. Thank you. It sounded so interesting. That's a thing. Man was just like, uh, let's get everything we have on our drinks menu <laughs> and mix it together. <laughs> and you're just like, ah, uh, no. How would you explain the taste of this? So it's like espresso. Yeah. With like orange. But it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> it's not and, like, good. Like soda water, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. This is the new norm now. Every time I get back in the car, just doing a little hand sanitizing. <laughs> afternoon to share with you guys a few outfits that I have been wearing during winter in Melbourne. So I was going to share with you four different looks that I've been wearing recently. These are a mixture of everyday outfits and also outfits that I've been wearing sort of more in the evening and to go for dinner and that sort of thing. So I feel like this look is the kind of thing that I would wear to go for dinner or to go to a meeting or just to go somewhere really nice. I love having a plain black long sleeved rib top underneath and an oversized blazer is always my favorite thing. These jeans are from Kate and they fit absolutely perfectly. And my bag is from by far. So I think for this look, you could easily put a really big coat over the top if you were cold and you were going out in the evening. So I'm just gonna pop a coat on now and 
show you guys what that looks like. I really love wearing blazers and coats together. I think it looks super chic and it is perfect for winter. So this next outfit is something that's a little bit more casual, but still really chic and simple. I've just added an off-white t-shirt underneath. It's really beautiful jumper and oversized blazer on top. I'm wearing trousers from Acme Studios that have this really great stretchy waistline. Here is another outfit that again, I think would really work for the evening. But I mean, if you're going to a nice place during the day, I feel like you could also easily wear this outfit. So I've got a turtleneck on, which is a woolly gray turtleneck from Uniqlo. I have a Le Apt blazer. My skirt is from Acne Studios. Some stockings and my boots are from Dear Francis. Just have my padded cassette Bottega bag, which I think pretty much goes with all my outfits, but it especially goes with winter inspired outfits. I feel like it's a real winter bag. The thing that I love about this bag, it's actually so versatile. So you can wear it on the side as a crossbody and you can also make the strap short and wear it as more of a clutch as well. The last outfit is a really casual look that I would wear if I was just popping up to the shops. So I've left the same turtleneck on. I've added a light gray cardigan and a super oversized vintage blazer. I've got some Acne Studios trousers, my Converse's and a mango tote bag. You can also add a scarf to this look. You could also put a big coat on top of this look if you required an additional layer, but otherwise I would probably leave this look here for during the day. I'm just quickly going to buy some ingredients for dinner tonight. I'm just gonna make pasta with a really simple tomato-based sauce. Um, this is a recipe that my mum and my dad have used ever since I was a kid. These are all the ingredients that I'll be using to make this dish tonight. So it's such a simple dish. So you need two cans of Italian peeled tomatoes. I like to use this gluten-free pasta from Barilla. I think it's really great and I cannot tell that it's gluten-free. Couple of extra hot chilies, half an onion, some garlic, parmesan, which is for Nick. I will not be having any of this parmesan. Some cherry tomatoes and lots of fresh basil. And then what I'll do is I'll just add a little bit of water into the can. You can't really see, just like half a cup and pour that in as well. And I'm going to put some cut up cherry tomatoes in, just like a handful. And I'm also going to put in some fresh basil leaves. Lots of pepper. And there you go. So that's everything that's going to go in. And now it's pretty much just going to cook for about 30 minutes. As you can hear, the sauce is definitely starting to boil. And as this happens, I like to just try and break up the big tomatoes, which are in the sauce. The sauce is coming along really nicely, as you can see. And I've just got the water boiling for the pasta. 